Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hi guys, welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 lines you need for introducing yourself. My name is, I'm how old, uh, whatever. Let's start. My name is Olivia. My name is Olivia. Superman. My name is Superman. Or you can say that means I am. So Olivia. I am Olivia. Or I'm called Olivia. I'm called Olivia. Please practice and introduce yourself in the comment section. Ngolei I come from Ngolei Hong Kong, I come from Hong Kong. Ngolei Canada, I come from Canada. Ngolei Zi I come from Mars. Ngolei I live in Ngolei it's literally I live in. Ngolei Tonglawan, I live in Causeway Bay, that's a district in Hong Kong. Ngolei Patlam, I live in Berlin. I live in Brazil. Or you can just put a place. I live in a cave. I'm a caveman. <laughs> I have been learning Cantonese for one year. I have been learning Cantonese one year. Or some people who are really fluent and you ask, how long have you been studying Cantonese? Maybe they'll say, I 10 years, something. I Cantonese Class 101.com. I learned Cantonese at Cantonese Class 101.com. Where else? <laughs> or you're watching our YouTube videos, then you can tell people, I learned Cantonese at YouTube. I'm 26 years old. I'm 12 years old. Some kid might come up to tell you. I'm three years old. Yeah, usually people do this. I'm a teacher. Now you tell people your occupation or what you do for a living. I'm a teacher. Gaosi is teacher. I'm a firefighter. I'm a doctor. What are you? What do you do? Tell us. One of my hobbies is to dance. Okay, just a second, I don't know. I enjoy listening to music. is music. What's your favorite type of music? You start with all Zhong Yi is like I like. I can say I enjoy traveling. Hang is traveling. And you can say I enjoy learning Cantonese. With me, Olivia. Nice to meet you. is a bit formal. means very happy. is to meet you, to make you an acquaintance. If it's a more casual situation, you can say I'm very happy to know you. So it's, I'm very happy to have known you. So that's it for today. Those are the 10 lines you need for introducing yourself. Please check out the word list from CantoneseClass101.com and uh, introduce yourself with Cantonese and write it in the comments. Subscribe so you can see more of our videos. I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. No, hi, Olivia. Hachikin. See you next time. Bye. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Cantonese. There are a few different ways to say it, depending on how many people you are talking to. Let's first see how Cantonese speakers introduce themselves to a single person. 你好,我是Olivia. 好高兴认识你。Hi, I'm Olivia. Nice to meet you. 你好,我是Olivia. 好高兴认识你。Start by saying 你好,我是... Then say your name. 你好,我是Olivia. Finally, say 好高兴认识你。你好,我是Olivia. 好高兴认识你。Good job! Now let's see the same sentence when talking to more than one person. 
。你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你哋。Hi， I'm Olivia， nice to meet you all。你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你哋。So， what has changed from the previous introduction？ Let's take a closer look at these together. 你好，我系 Olivia。Has not been changed. 你好，我系 stands in both case for Hi, I am. Finally, pay attention to the ending. We went from 你 to 你哋 What has changed is the word for you. In Cantonese, the word for you is different if it is singular or plural. 你 is singular, and 你哋 is plural. One more time. To introduce yourself to one person in Cantonese is, 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你。To introduce yourself to more than one person is, 你好，我系 Olivia， 好高兴认识你哋。Now it's time for Olivia's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. Always introduce yourself to the higher-ranking persons before those of lower rank. In most cases, the person of the highest ranking will be the most elder person. If you use the correct sentence with Cantonese speakers, they are definitely going to be impressed. Hi everyone, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about 20 travel phases you should know. Are you traveling to Hong Kong anytime soon or Macau? Let us know in the comment section. So here we go. 我可唔可以要张地图 Could I get a map? 我可唔可以要张地图 Could I get a map? So you can always find a travel information center near most attractions and get a map, or just download it online. 你识讲英文吗 Do you speak English? 你识讲英文吗 Do you speak English? 你识讲 It's like you know how to speak. 英文 is English. Ma is the question particle, so you can substitute any other languages in this question. For example, 你识讲法文吗 Do you speak French? 法文 is French. 你识讲日文吗 Do you speak Japanese? 你识讲国语吗 Do you speak Mandarin? 呢度有冇巴士由机场去市区 Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 呢度有冇巴士由机场去市区 Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 巴士 is bus. It sounds very similar. It's actually a loan word. So 巴士 bus bus bus. 机场 is airport. 市区 is city. It's like city center or downtown. So there are a lot of airport bus that brings you to different parts of the city. It's very convenient. Wi-Fi 系咪免费 Is the Wi-Fi free? Wi-Fi 系咪免费 Is the Wi-Fi free? 免费 is free. So most places have free Wi-Fi, like cafes or restaurants. They they would provide free Wi-Fi all around Hong Kong. 今晚有冇房 Do you have any vacancies tonight? 今晚有冇房 Is there any vacancy tonight? This is a question you ask at the hotel or hostel. So 今晚 is tonight. It could be 今晚 or 今晚 is the same. 有冇 is like is there any? 房 is room, so is there any room available for tonight, or do you have any vacancies for tonight? 我可唔可以转房 Could I move to a different room? 我可唔可以转房 Could I move to a different room? 我可唔可以 Can I? 转房转 is like to change to turn. 房 is room, so can I change to another room? 我订咗房 I have a reservation for a room. 我订咗房 I have a reservation. So this is a sentence you use at the hotel or hostel. 房 is room, so 订房 is to make a reservation for a room. 订咗房 is the past tense, so 我订咗房 is like I have made the reservation for a room. Before you go to the hotel, you book a room, and then when you arrive, you just tell them 我订咗房 and then they will ask you for your last name, and they will find your booking. 唔该，可唔可以要个 menu? Could we have the menu, please? 唔该，可唔可以要个 menu? Could we have the menu, please? 唔该 is please or excuse me. 可唔可以 may we or can we or can I may I? So menu is the same as in English. We just say menu in Hong Kong. That's the most common. So 
Guy, how many you got menu? This is the question you use in a restaurant. 你有冇咩推介 ？Do you have any recommendations? 你有冇咩推介 ？Do you have any recommendation? So when I travel to a new city, trying new restaurant, I will always ask, "What's your recommendation?" 你有冇咩推介？唔该，埋单。Check please。唔该，埋单。Check please。唔该 is please or excuse me. So in this case is please. I want to check please. So、um, check please。唔该，埋单。埋单 is to wrap up the bill. To settle the bill. So 埋单。Check please. That's the sentence you will hear a lot or you will use at the restaurant. 我对花生敏感。I'm allergic to peanuts. 我对花生敏感。I'm allergic to peanuts. 唔该，要啲水。Water, please. 唔该，要啲水。Water, please. 唔该 ，again is like please or excuse me. 要啲水 is like I want some water. So water, please. 呢个几钱 ？How much is this? 呢个几钱 ？How much is this? 呢个 is this. 几钱 is how much. So how much is this? 呢个几钱 This is a question you will use at shop or store whenever you go shopping. You can ask 呢个几钱 In Hong Kong, most of the shop already have the price tag listed, so you might not have to ask that question that much. 我要十个呢个 I like ten of these. 我要十个呢个 I want ten of this. 我要十个呢个我要 is like I want. 十个 is ten. 呢个 is this. So I want ten of these. 我买呢个 I like this. 我买呢个 I like this. I'll buy this literally. So 我买 is I buy. 呢个 is this. So I buy this. So I like this. That's what you say to the clerk when you are at a shop and you already chose something and you can tell him or her that I want this one. 我要呢个可唔可以俾个折头我啊 ？Could you give me a discount？ 可唔可以俾个折头我啊 ？Could you give me a discount？ So this is how you ask for a discount. For example, if you're buying ten coin purse at the same time, you can ask for a discount. 我要十个呢个，可唔可以俾个折头我啊？收唔收信用卡 ？Do you take credit card？ 收唔收信用卡 ？Do you take credit card？ 信用卡 is credit card, so 收 is to receive, to accept. So 收唔收 is do you accept? And then 信用卡 credit card. Do you accept credit card? Do you take credit card? It's quite common for shops in Hong Kong to take credit card unless it's like very small scale,、uh, family run shop. But yeah, most shops take credit card. 车站喺边 Where is the train station? 车站喺边 Where is the train station? 车站 in this case can apply to subway station or bus station. If you want to specify, say subway station. You can ask. The train station is where? The train is subway in Hong Kong. So, the train station is where? Where is the subway station? Or where is the bus station? Would be the bus station is where? So, the bus station is bus stop. So, the bus station is station or stop. So, the train station is mostly understood as、um, where is the train station? Excuse me, what's the fare? 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 请问 is like may I ask or excuse me? Ah,、uh, 给钱 is like how much? So in this case, 请问给钱 or just 给钱 we use it at a train station or a bus or minivan or taxi. It's like asking about the fare, the fee you have to pay to take this transportation. So 请问给钱 how much is it like for the fare? 唔该，你可唔可以帮我影张相？ Could you take a picture of me, please? 唔该，你可唔可以帮我影张相 ？Could you take a picture of me, please? 唔该 is like please, excuse me. 可唔可以 is like could you like can you please can you 帮我 is for me. 影张相 is to take a picture. So 唔该，你可唔可以帮我影张相 ？Could you take a photo for me, please? Could you take a picture for me, please? So that's it for today. Today we talked about twenty travel phrases. You can totally use it in Hong Kong or Macau or any other Cantonese-speaking regions. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.
please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. You can make your own flashcards and study on the plane on the way there. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! Today we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank others. 準備好未? Are you ready? 那就開始啦! Let's start! There are basically two different ways to thank someone. When thanking someone for a service or assistance, we say 唔該, 唔該, 唔該 means thank you. When saying thank you very much, you just need to add 曬, 唔該曬, 唔該曬, 曬 means entirely. So 唔該曬 is like saying thank you very much. Another way to thank someone in Cantonese is 多謝. It is used when receiving a gift or money. 多謝. And again, to say thank you very much, just add 曬. 多謝曬. 多謝曬. Let's break this phrase down. 多 is many, and 謝 is thanks. 曬 means entirely. Thank you very much. 多謝曬. How do you answer when you are thanked? It's easy. Just say 唔使客氣. 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 Literally means no need to be polite, but it is the equivalent of you are welcome. So when someone says 唔該 or 多謝 to you, you can simply reply with 唔使客氣. Now it's time for Olivia's insights. If you're not sure about whether to use 唔該 or 多謝, remember that 多謝 expresses a deeper appreciation of personal kindness and is used in most formal situations. 你好。你好。in this lesson, we'll learn some of the most common greetings used in Hong Kong. 準備好未? Are you ready? 那就開始啦! Let's start! The most common informal greeting is Hello! Hello! Just as you can guess, Hello is just Hello with the Cantonese pronunciation. We use it when meeting someone just like in English. But be careful, this is very casual, so don't use it for business meetings. And now let's discuss a more formal way to greet people. The one you're probably used to hearing is 你好, 你好. Literally, 你好 means you are well. However, we may also interpret it as hello. We use 你好 when meeting someone for the first time or for higher ranking people, such as the elderly. When it's time to leave, we say bye bye for informal situations. And you are right. It's just like the English bye bye with a Cantonese pronunciation. Bye bye. And in formal situations, use joy gin. Joy gin. Joy gin means goodbye. Finally, in Cantonese, we have an expression meaning see you soon that can be considered both formal and informal. Ha chi gin. Ha chi gin. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Cantonese. Let's go over them again. When meeting your friends or family, say hello. When leaving in an informal situation, say bye-bye. When meeting older people or someone you don't know, nei ho. When leaving in a formal situation, joy gin. And to say see you soon in a way that's formal and informal, say ha chi gin. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Olivia's insights. In formal situations, Cantonese speakers commonly greet each other by shaking hands. But if we meet someone we're very close with, we pat each other on the arm or on the back. Hi guys! Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia, and today we're going to talk about top 10 ways to prepare your travel. In fact, I'm traveling right now. But let's start with the work list. 拣去边度 to choose your destination. Before you start your trip, of course, you have to start with some preparation work. First, we have 拣去边度 to choose the destination. 拣 means to choose. 
Bindo is where. He is to go. So to choose to go where. So to choose your destination. 今次旅行我同屋企人揀咗去日本。For this travel, my family and I chose to travel to Japan. So here we are. This is Japan. Ta-da! But let's continue with the word list. So one more example for 揀去邊度，就嚟放復活節假。揀去邊度旅行好呢 ？The Easter holiday is coming. Where should I choose for traveling? 揀去邊度旅行好呢 ？Choose where to travel. 儲錢 to save money. So after you have decided on your destination and you've read about it, did some research, then you have to 儲錢 save money. You have to save money. For you to spend for the trip, right? Cho is together to save up, and qin is money to save money. 我咁努力储钱都系为咗要去冰岛旅行。I've been trying so hard to save money because I want to travel to Iceland. I've been trying so hard to save money because I want to travel to Iceland. That's true. I'm actually planning for. Iceland trip. If you have any advice or recommendation, please let us know in the comment section. Bingo is Iceland. 筹钱 to save money. I heard that Iceland is one of the most expensive country to travel to, so I would really need to 筹钱 in order to go to that trip. Next, 订机票 to book a flight. So after you save that money, you can 订机票 To book a flight, then gay pill, then is to book to reserve. Gay pill is、um, flight tickets or yeah, flying tickets, plane seat ticket. So then gay pill in a sentence. 快啲订机票唔系就冇位噶啦。You should book your flight as soon as possible, otherwise there will be no seats. You should book your flight as soon as possible, otherwise there will be no more seats. It's been、um, ticket prices have been kind of cheap lately. That caused a lot of people to travel, and、um, yeah, the seat got taken up very soon. Especially good seats. <laughs> I like window seats. How about you? What kind of seats do you like? Let us know in the comment section. Next, 计算开支 To calculate expenses, so after you bought your your plane ticket, you have to calculate how much you can spend on hotel accommodation, food, and whatnot. So the next word is 计算开支 to calculate expenses. To calculate expenses, 计算 is to calculate expenses. 开支 in a sentence. 去旅行前最好先计算开支 It's better to calculate the expense before traveling. So in that case, you won't be stranded somewhere and got no money to travel to the airport <laughs> and return home. So before you go to a trip, 去旅行前 please calculate your expense in advance, just in case. Or you can actually do some street performance to gain some changes. Maybe some people do that. I heard. So next, 请假 To request vacation time, 请假 in an office when you want to get, take some day off, you have to tell the HR department or your superior that oh, can I take these days off? 我仲考虑紧好唔好请假去旅行。我仲考虑紧好唔好请假去旅行。I'm still thinking if I should request for vacation time for traveling. So some people might want to save up the annual leave for something more important, but、um, usually for people who doesn't have family, they would spend their annual leave, annual holiday on traveling, I guess, or getting married or moving and whatnot. I heard that in some European countries. It's compulsory to let your employee take a month off, or like, or two weeks off during the summer, or just to travel. 
it's a good balance of life. Then that's a very difficult concept in Asia. Then to book them to book accommodations. So after you calculate, expense, you bought your plane plane ticket, you got your vacation. The next step is to then to book them to book accommodations. Then is to book or reserve. To book them is hotel. So it's actually to book a hotel. Or you can say then Airbnb to book a room on Airbnb, or then、um, manso to book for a pension. But the most common way to say it is then to book to book for a hotel. So I'm mong then to book 真系好方便 Booking accommodation online is very convenient. Nowadays we just use all those price comparison website or search engine to find the best price. Back in maybe two twenty years ago, we still need to use a travel agency. But now, going online, doing it ourselves is the best. So I'm mong to go online, then to book them to book a hotel. 真系 really 好方便 very convenient. 方便 is convenient. So so I'm mong then to book them 真系好方便 booking accommodation online is very convenient. Next, 更新护照 to renew your passport. 更新护照 to renew your passport. Remember to check your passport before you travel, at least like a month before your departure date, because that has happened to so many friends of mine and even myself that we're traveling, getting everything ready, and right before you we go to the airport, we realize our passport is expired. That's like nightmare, and I don't think the travel insurance cover for that neither. So be careful. 更新护照。更新 is renew， 护照 is passport。你要预留足够嘅时间去更新护照。You have to reserve enough time to renew your passport. Those things take time, really, especially if you are living in、um, in a country that is not from your passport country, so、um, the origin country. So, yeah， 预留足够嘅时间 to reserve enough time for renewing a passport. Next, zap han ne to pack. So you have pretty much everything ready. Now you have to zap han ne to pack your suitcase to pack. Zap is to tidy up together to、um, pack things. Han ne is suitcase or luggage. So to pack your luggage for the trip, zap han ne. Zap han ne 真系好花时间 Packing is really time consuming. Zap han ne. 花时间 is like to spend time to spend a lot of time on something, so time consuming.、Mm, some people I know that some people they just open the suitcase, throw everything in, close it, and go to the airport like two hours before the the traveling date. But for me, I don't know why it always takes so long because I'm worried that I would forget something. So I usually start packing maybe a week or even longer before the trip because you don't want to bring any extra thing, like unnecessary thing, and then you end up carrying it around and it's heavy. So I try to minimize my belongings and、uh, use things that are versatile, clothing that are matching with each other, things like that. There are so many tips online for you, like how to. Pack your luggage in a more efficient way. So、um, yeah, I highly recommend watching one of those if you are confused on、um, how to pack and not overpack or underpack. Next, 买旅游保险 to buy travel insurance. 买旅游保险 to buy travel insurance. It is. Pretty critical to buy travel insurance. My family and I have used it in several occasions, just for the safe sake, just for a peace of mind, right? 旅游保险旅游 is travel. 保险 is insurance. So you can use like 人寿保险 life insurance, or、um, home insurance 家居保险 So、uh, 买旅游保险 to buy travel insurance. You can usually do that online, or even some airport has kiosk where you can just buy it at the airport. So、um, it's a very convenient way to give you a peace of mind for your trip. In a sentence, 出发前记得买旅游保险，以防万一。Remember to buy travel insurance before you travel, just in case an accident happens. 
accidents in、um, in Cantonese is actually called、uh, yi ngoi. Yi is mine, oi is out. So is something out of your mind, something that comes up without planning. So、um, accidents, yi ngoi,、uh, something that is outside of your mind. Yes, so that's why it's important to buy insurance. Next, law team thing to get a visa. Some countries、uh, require visa for entry, so law is to obtain to get. Team thing is visa for、um, for entering a country. In a sentence, 好多中东地区都需要游客攞签证先可以入境 Tourists are required to get a visa. To enter the country in many Middle East areas, and for me, I know that I need to get visa for Vietnam, Russia, and Kenya countries like that. But I, I don't think I've obtained the visa for Middle East countries. But different passport has different powers. So, so let us know if you have ever obtained the visa for any Middle East countries. Today we talk about top ten ways to prepare your travel. I hope this list help you learn Cantonese as well as preparing your traveling. Summer is coming up soon, so maybe you'll be traveling somewhere. Let us know where you're traveling, and maybe other learners can give you some advice and recommendation on what to do there. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. And、uh, there's a word list and explanation on different terms and vocabularies on our website CantoneseClass101.com. Please check it out; it will be very helpful in、uh, learning words for your travel. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. 我哋使唔使上堂啊？几时？听日。礼拜六唔使。Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words by CantoneseClass101.com. My name is Olivia. Today we're going to talk about top ten phrases tourists should never use. Never use these. How what the uh? That's disgusting. How what the uh? That's disgusting. Even if it's disgusting, you should not say it. I guess. <laughs> what the means ugly or disgusting. So how what the uh means that's disgusting. 我国家好啲 ，My country is better. 我国家好啲 ，My country is better.、Um, why do you travel if you think your country is always better? Of course, every country has the good and bad, but you should be open-minded and absorb all the new experience, even if it's better or worse. 我宁愿翻屋企。I'd rather be back home. 我宁愿留，我宁愿翻屋企。I'd rather be back home. Then don't go traveling. You should enjoy traveling instead of、uh, complaining all the time. 收声 ，shut up. 收声，收声 ，shut up. Even if you're not traveling, that's not a very nice phrase to say. To tell people to shut up, that's not very good. Next, 我对你哋嘅文化冇乜兴趣 I'm not very interested in your culture. 我对你哋嘅文化冇兴趣 I'm not very interested in your culture. Never say things like that. That's just that's just mean. And you should always respect other people and their culture. 去麦当劳食算啦 Let's just eat at McDonald's. 去麦当劳食算啦。Let's just eat at McDonald's. Then why do you travel again? I hate globalization because you can find McDonald's or KFC or Starbucks everywhere. And and for some people, even when they're traveling, they stick to what they are comfortable with. That they should actually try new food at a new place, new cuisine in a new country. 好闷啊 ，boring. 好闷啊 ，boring. Moon is boring. So 好闷啊 is to complain that something is very boring. Usually, only young people or teenagers say that. I stopped saying boring for a long time. 呢个好难食 This tastes awful. 呢个好难食 This tastes awful. So 难 is difficult. Sick is to eat. 难食 is awful. The food is bad. 
you can say it in your heart. Just don't say it out loud. It's just not okay unless you have to complain to the restaurant that they have some problem with the food. Gam chun ga. This is stupid. Gam chun ga. This is so stupid. Chun is stupid. You did gam ye man ga. You people are uncivilized. You did gam ye man ga. You people are uncivilized. You may say that in your mind, but I guess you should not say that out loud. Yeman means rude or uncivilized. So you guys are so uncivilized. You did gam ye man ga. So that's it for today. Today we talk about top ten phrases tourists should never use. So don't use these phrases and try to enjoy your travel, your new environment. If you like this video, please subscribe and check out the world list on CantoneseClass101.com. So I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye. I this morning. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia. Today we're going to talk about top 10 most common tourist vocabularies. Are you traveling to Hong Kong soon? Let's see the terms that you can use. Here we go. Fei ticket. Fei ticket. 请问在哪里买飞? May I ask where can I buy tickets? The ticket window is over there. 游客, tourist. 游客, tourist. 游客买东西有九折. Tourists can enjoy a 10% off discount. This doesn't apply everywhere in Hong Kong, but in some shops or department stores, they do offer discounts for tourists. So bring your passport with you. Zilam, guidebook. Zilam, guidebook. I would like to buy a guidebook about visiting Japan. Those are really handy. Though it's usually about where to eat and where to go shopping. I don't shop much. So those are not that useful for me. 旅遊巴, tour bus. 旅遊巴, tour bus. 遊客可以搭旅遊巴去迪士尼樂園. Tourists can take the tour bus to go to Disneyland. 廟, temple. 廟, temple. 呢間廟香火鼎盛. This temple has a large number of visitors. 清真寺, mosque. 清真寺, mosque. 九龍公園的清真寺歷史悠久. The mosque near the Kowloon Park has a long history. It's a very famous mosque in Hong Kong. It's in the center of a tourist attraction. So you're likely to pass by it all the time. 教堂, church. 教堂, church. 澳門有很多教堂都被列入世界遺產名錄. Lots of churches in Macau were listed as World Heritage Sites. They're really nice. They are Portuguese style as well. Bukbo Waterfall. Bukbo Waterfall. Hong Kong has a There are lots of beautiful waterfalls in Hong Kong. For example, the Bryce Pool Waterfall. I have been there when I was a kid. It was very nice. It's very different than other parts of Hong Kong. Luyao Tour. Hong Kong Tourism Board promotes the hiking tour to tourists. I love hiking tours. Uh, Dragon Bag is one of the famous hiking trails in Hong Kong. Try it if you have a chance. I don't want to give any tips to the tour guide because his service is so bad. But I guess it's compulsory to give tips to the tour guy. I don't know. Yes, so that's it for today. Today we talked about top 10 most common tourist vocabularies. I hope it's useful for your next travel. And I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. My name is Olivia. See you next time. Hi guys, welcome. 你好, my name is Olivia and welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 ways to say hello. Hello, hello. 
So of course you can say in English like hello, or with the Cantonese accent, hello. <laughs> so let's start with the word list. Hello, hello. The first word is hello. So it's hello, but with a Cantonese accent. It came from the English hello, of course. 早晨 good morning. And the next is 早晨 good morning. 早晨 good morning. So in the morning, like before noon, whenever you see people, you can say 早晨早晨先生早晨警察叔叔早晨你好 Hi, good day. 你好 That's like hi and good day. So 你好 literally means you well. So 你好 It's a bit formal, or、um, well, not exactly formal, but it's more for polite way to say it. So I would say 你好 to say the security guard of the building. 你好早晨 Hi, good morning. 大家好 Hello, everybody. 大家好 Hello, everybody. 大家好 So if I'm talking to a group of people, say I'm talking to you guys, you listeners and watchers, I will say 大家好大家好啊大家 means like everyone. 好 is well. So if it's one person, it's 你好 If it's group of people, say 大家好大家好好耐冇见 ，long time no see。好耐冇见 ，long time no see。好耐 ，long time， 冇见 ，no see。Literally， so um， if I run into someone that I haven't seen in a long time， I say， 喂，好耐冇见。Hey， long time no see。How have you been？ 最近点啊 ？How have you been？ 最近点啊 ？How have you been？ 最近点啊？ How have you been? You say this with people you haven't met for quite some time. So, 最近 is recently, and 迪妈 is like, how is it? How's it going? So, how are you recently? How are you lately? Or you can combine all of them, like, hello, 好耐冇见，最近点啊？点啊 ？How's it going? 点啊 ？How's it going? This is very casual. I would use it with my friends. So, 点啊？ Um, watch your tone because if you say it angrily, it's like "dima." It's like, "What do you want?" <laughs> Or if you say it、um, with like without patience, you can say "dima." It's like, "What do you want now?" It's like, "What now?" So say it with a nice voice.、Uh, "Dima." It's it's like, "Oh, how are you? How are you feeling? How have you been?" 食咗饭未啊 ？Have you eaten yet? 食咗饭未啊？ Have you eaten yet? So Asian people love to eat, and we greet other by asking if they have eaten yet. <laughs> so, so Japan me ah, have you eaten yet? Maybe I would use it around lunchtime, like one or two, to see if they have had lunch yet. But yeah, it's a very casual way to ask how someone is. 你几时翻嚟噶 ？When did you get back in town? 你几时翻嚟噶 ？When did you get back in town? So if you run into someone that you thought is not in town, you can say, 喂，你几时翻嚟噶？好耐冇见，你几时翻嚟噶 ？Long time no see. When did you come back? 你父母身体好吗 ？How are your parents? 你父母身体好吗 ？How are your parents? 你父母 your parents 身体好吗？身体 is body or health. 好吗 is well. So Literally, it means are your parents healthy? Are your parents well? So, how are your parents? Hello, 好耐冇见，你父母身体好吗 ？Hello, long time no see. How are your parents? Like, if、uh, it's a nice way to greet people and ask about their the parents. So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten ways to say hello. Hi, hi, hi. And I'm gonna say goodbye now. For now. And、uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And check out CantoneseClass101.com for more Cantonese videos and Cantonese fun stuff. See you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.